Hey guys, finally we're back. Finally today I bring you the Football Manager 21 save. We are being FC Kaiserslautern. Now guys, we are here at the screen where we choose our team and we can have a little look at the teams around us and no one really looks like they're going to be able to deal with Kaiserslautern. A lot of history in this club former Bundesliga champions, I believe they won it in the 90s, doesn't go there yeah, through, through the 90s, they were one of the best teams in Germany, and I think they won the Bundesliga twice in the 90s, they've won it also previously I think in the 60s as well, but today we are hoping to start off a journey where we bring them back to their full glory, as you can see, the Die Rattentufel is their nicknamed have a whopping 50,000 seater stadium, great training facilities, good youth facilities, a national reputation, of course professional, great kits as well, solid all red uh, home kit and then obviously a solid all black away kit which I like, that's very nice and an interesting third kit as well. So we have a club culture of developing players using the club youth system which is always fun to do guys. So without further ado, let's skip ahead now where we have the little meetings and all that good stuff. Okay, firstly guys, right, we might as well just set up actually how we're going to be. We'll base it on Kaiser Slaughter's reputation. We're going to be a disciplinarian. I always think this being a disciplinarian really does help. <laughs> um, yeah, it really does help moving forward like with, with tricky players that can cause issues and stuff like that. So we'll jump ahead now, and then yeah, we will get to the team meeting. So that is one FC Kaiserslautern hire Smallwood. Kaiserslautern have today confirmed the appointment of Thomas Smallwood as the club's new manager. Eyebrows were raised in the world of football when the announced when the appointment of the 26-year-old, who has recently spent time away from the club, from, away from club football, and he is sure to face plenty of questions as he faces the media for the first time at the Fritz Walter Stadion. We are on a two year deal worth 7.5k per week. We'll take that. So, here you go, guys. As you can see, reputation of three stars. Director of football is Boris Nutson. Assistant manager is Richard Kimoniki. Looks like an okay, okay, experienced assistant manager. Media prediction of fourth. So, that does mean I don't think we are. To I think there's only two teams that get promoted in the. Uh, Bundesliga 3 or Liga 3 however it's up but as you can see in the club's history we can finally determine where whether I was right club was founded in 1900 nice very old club then club played our home game Fritz Waltz club facilities blah 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 we've already gone through that the club enjoy their best spell of success during the 90s yep and there we go so They have won the top division in 51, 53, then 91 and 98. Finished runners up four times as well. They won the Pokal in 1990 and 1996. So, yeah, the 90s was their time. But we're about to bring back them sort of times. Now, what springs to mind? I've not looked at the squad, but I know this guy, Spalvis. Yeah, I'm all already familiar with him. They want us to play a 4-4-2, which I've not actually played in a long time, so it might be good to have a look at that. Maybe start off with a 4-4-2 system. Obviously, we played the 4-3-3 last season and the 4-2-3-1 a hell of a lot, so I don't really want to play them formations in this save. I feel like we need to branch out and experiment with a few different more tactics, so 4-4-2 might be a good place to start. As you can see on the five-year plan, we've got to work within the budget. We've got to finish top half the end of current season and reach the second round. Then in 2021-22, reach the uh, Liga 3 playoffs, gain an automatic promotion to Bundesliga 2 the following season, and then progress. But we are hoping to hit that. So I'm also familiar with how the layout and the kind of new... I really like the sleeker design. It looks a lot better with the little red accent and the darker purple as well, because one thing with... One thing with the last last game with the new kind of UI and how it looked and everything like that, I 
felt as though... Yeah, I felt as though it, it, it it's too bright. The purple was too bright, but they've dulled it down, and I can actually work with this because last that last you know last years I used black, I had the dark black, which looked really nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep the purple. It looks nice. Really darken the tone down, um, and I think it looks a lot better for it to be honest. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I want to do something, which is get my screenshot into the. Is this one? A few moments later. It should do. And that is a bit of a bummer. Why is it? Why is it done that? Why am I a tiny human? Why? 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 Why am I a tiny human? I do not know. There it is. That's the one. We got it. We got it. We got it. Finally. That took too long, and now we can get on with the rest of today's episode. Yay! There I am. Look at me, looking very serious as always. But yeah, we'll jump into things then. Let's have a look. Tactics induction. Let's have a look. Last year of contract. We can sort that out off screen because that's stuff that it's not really going to be in that much intrigue to you guys. But what do we want to play then? Wing play is what's suggested. So we'll go with the wing play. Why not? We'll go with a 4-4-2. Classic. Let's quick pick and see what we're working with, guys. So, we've got three players on loan, and they are the three so called best players for us. Adam Huzlik, fullback there. A decent, solid, solid fullback. Decent stats all around. Puri, striker. Pressing, pressing forward mainly. Well, that's it, he can play. He's very. Uh, very good across all pretty much all the roles actually which is nice to see versatile i like it um i don't know why my currency is in that i don't know what that what currency that is but that needs to get changed at some point but yeah stats wise okay not bad um hands like a younger younger guy from the looks of it looks like he's got some little bit of potential there but it's hard to really say but Kevin Kraus. I am familiar with Kevin Kraus. Dominic Shad. I'm also familiar with Dominic Shad. I think as well. I think I've seen him. Or maybe maybe it's another Shad. I'm not thinking the right guy. But the team as a whole, I think, should be pretty complete. In a sense of it should be good enough to really challenge for the title this season. Without me even adding to it. But, um, if I go on team reports, squad depth, if we have a look striker wise, looks like we've got a lot of firepower, to be fair, we've got quite a big squad, I think centre midfield, maybe somewhere that we can look to improve, um, from the looks of it. But we're looking pretty strong. Maybe goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, centre mid. And another centre back, maybe. That can kind of compete with Kevin as the number one. They might be the players that we go for. But that does all depend, of course, on the money. Which I need to change because that's just going to mess with my head. Turkish Lira is no good to anyone. A few moments later. Yeah! Oh! Right there, Doodle. I brought you into this world, and now I'm gonna take you out. Any last words? Yeah, but first a quick word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends. Hopefully, the editing style for this is a little bit more enjoyable than what you've seen in um, from the last last gen's episodes and content for you guys. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit more fast-paced for you. Um, easy more easy to digest not as long-winded hopefully and yeah i think that really confirms it for today's episode i'm struggling to think what else we can kind of look at transfer budget wise we have no transfer budget fantastic obviously i don't know maybe maybe i just need to go progress a little bit further into the season to kind of get the transfer budget but that does not look good which is strange but 
Anyway, um, staff-wise, we might make a couple of more additions to the coaching, to the scouting, and all that good stuff. For now, I think the squad is solid. Obviously, before now and the start of the season, gonna obviously try and make some signings if I possibly can. Obviously, that is down to if we actually can manage to change this wage budget available into actual transfer budget. But we shall see. We shall see. The final thing then before we do conclude will be to have a look at the. Excuse me. To have a look at the season preview. Where we are sitting in third in the season preview. We have no players in the World 11, I do believe. Uh, World 11, Dream 11. As of right now, but third is where we're supposed to be. You have two players, two teams going up. Automatic and then one in the playoffs. So there's a strong possibility. I'm targeting, obviously, getting promoted. That is the goal this season. We will be back, though. For episode number two, this has obviously been a short but sweet episode um, where I bring you the transfers at the start of the season and also the first game of the season. So I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. Um, I'm really excited to get this underway. And yeah, let's smash it. And hopefully we'll get off to a good start in the next episode with the W. So cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.